Hey guys, another Dine to Glow smoking episode. Um, today we're going to smoke some fish, and I haven't done this since I was knee high to a grasshopper. So I hope my memory serves me well, but I'm smoking some Pollock, and about 200 degrees, it's going to take two hours to do. So I just wanted to bring you guys along for this, and um, I, I know the rib videos that I did, the two, I mean, I don't get paid for this, obviously, and I'm not a spokesperson for Dynaglow, but they were phenomenal. And I guess any smoker that's of any quality will produce the same results. Maybe not. But I wanted to bring you along for this fish smoking video, and I hope you all are having a great Memorial Day. So hang in there, and we'll get to it. Okay, just a heads up. For the fish, I'm trying a different smoker wood. You would think living out here in the country, I'd have access to all kinds of fruit woods, but I guess I do, but I'm just too lazy to pursue it. So anyway, I picked up a bag of this cowboy brand. This is oak and hickory lump charcoal and it actually is a charcoal it's not at it's not wood so to speak but here I'll show you a piece this is exactly how it comes out of the bag it lights pretty quick it burns surprisingly enough fairly long and it's easy to maintain the temperature that you're looking for and the other one that I'm gonna put with that is the same brand, the Cowboy brand, and this is 100% natural apple wood chunks. This chunk is pretty big, so I didn't use it. I'm going to be cutting that down. And believe it or not, I got this at the big brand lumber store. So this is the smoking wood that I'm going to be using for this fish. As far as the spices that I'm going to be using, I'm going to use some butter. I'll cut a little patty for each filet. Some olive oil. Garlic and pepper. Rosemary, which works on anything, including ice cream and pudding. And this is called Biscayne Bay Seasoning. Um, I have not tried this yet, but the ingredients I think are going to work. Um, there's paprika, black pepper, and I'm blind, so it's really hard for me to read this. Um, kosher salt, uh, some chipotle. So we're going to put this on there as well, and just a splash of lemon juice. And then we're going to let them smoke. I will turn these over halfway through, probably in about an hour and re-season the back side or the bottom side and we'll see how this turns out so we're going to get to this right now so what i'm going to do is put tin foil down first because you know how fish gets when it's cooked it gets kind of flaky and i don't want it falling through the cracks or the spaces i should say between the um the the grill frame so i'm going to poke a bunch of holes in this with a fork to make sure that the smoke flavor is able to penetrate. I'm not putting anything below it so there will be no drippings issue. I just kind of hope that what I have is going to fit on this and I really don't think it's going to. And it's, uh, I did clean the smoker inside and out, but I think the best way to do this is going to be to pressure wash it. And since there's no electronics or gas or anything like that to worry about hurting, this is going to be a piece of cake to clean up. So I'm going to splash olive oil 
all over the tin foil and it's going to be messy and then I'm going to put some of the garlic pepper and I love garlic man I can eat this on anything And then we're going to use some of this, which apparently doesn't want to open, this Biscayne Bay Seafood Seasoning. And believe it or not, I did wash my hands before this, so... I actually do that all the time when I'm making food. So if I'm making a video with food in it, you don't see me washing my hands. Believe me that I have. Especially in today's world, I don't want anything weird going on. And then we're going to put some rosemary. And that will begin to infuse in the bottom of the fish. So now we'll get our fish. And I hate to admit it, this is store-bought frozen. When I go fishing here next month or so, and I catch some fresh fish, I'm going to do the same exact thing. And I'm really going to try and squeeze these on here because I want to get them all in if possible. Actually, I think I'll be able to. They are still a bit frozen, and that makes them so much easier to handle. Okay, there's only eight, so I'll be able to fit these easily. They're nice and thick, so this should really come out well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a butter patty and put it on top of each filet. My wife was worried I was going to use a whole stick of butter. Look how much is left. And believe it or not, just a little bit ago, I was helping making, making some cookies. And I don't know why, but they wanted brown food coloring in the batter and I mixed it by hand so my fingers are inundated with brown food coloring. Make sure we get all the paper off. Yeah, food coloring really stains well. I'm surprised they don't use it for hair dye or something. Alright, we have the butter patties on. We're going to go ahead again, and on the top side, and I can't get to the back, we're going to put the um, garlic pepper on them. And if this looks like a lot, it is. But honestly, a lot of it's going to run off while it's cooking. seafood seasoning there must be that cumin in, cumin in here because it's it really colors your hands and again we're going to put the rosemary on top Cool. So, a little splash of lemon juice, and that's going to finish this up. So we're going to 
close this up, keep an eye on the temperature, try to keep it around 200 for an hour, then we're going to flip these, and we're going to try and keep it at 200 for another hour. And our temperature is less than 100, of course, because we've had the door open for so long, but it's not going to take too terribly long to get up to where we want it. Actually, it's climbing as we speak. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's over a hundred right now And again, I don't know if you saw the video that I made with the modifications to this Smoker But sealing that door and changing the ability to adjust the airflow was It was just the ticket. This is really working out well so we're going to go ahead and let that go, and we'll be back after about an hour so you guys can see how they're turning out. Hope you hang in there. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been about an hour. I've had to add wood one time, and we are right now 210 degrees, which is a little bit hot, but I really... <laughs> haven't paid a whole lot of attention to it since I added the wood and set the um, the airflow. I knew it would stay right around 200 degrees, 205, but it's just a little bit hot, which is okay. So I'm going to flip these now, re-season them, and another hour, and they're going to be good to go. And again, I wish YouTube had some kind of smell function. because these smell awesome. And about an hour is just about right because they're cooked probably halfway through, maybe a bit more. And I gotta be honest, I put enough seasoning on them, I probably will not add any more, I'm just gonna flip them. And then let them finish up for another hour. Boy, they look phenomenal, don't they? So the wife has made um, rice, and we're having green beans. And I hate to admit it, but the green beans are store-bought, and they were frozen. But they're going to be made with some garlic butter, um, olive oil, um, some chopped onion. And that's about going to be it. So... When this is all done and plated up, I'll give you guys a glimpse of it. Thanks for hanging in there. Okay. It's been about two hours and ten minutes or so. We are at, let's see, 150, 200. We're at about 170 degrees. But it's been in there a little longer and I didn't want to add more wood to it for another five or ten minutes of cooking. I'm sure that this is good to go. Let's take a peek. So let me get it plated up and I'll show you the completed meal. Um, again, my wife made some rice in the Instapot and I actually added, I had two ears of corn left over from last night when I did the ribs. I added those to the green beans, so it's going to be a little bit of a um, treat, I guess you could say. And I just saw my dog trying to beat up the rooster, so let's see if we can get that. My dog loves a rooster, not so much the other way around. And that rooster can be ornery, let me tell you. I keep his spurs trimmed so he can't hurt anyone, but he still does what he's programmed to do. So there's Cato playing with the rooster, the rooster with no name. He's the one that crows day, night, blah, blah, blah. And here's the hens without the rooster.
So, okay, I'm going to get this plated up, and I'll be back in a second to finish up this video. Thanks, guys. Well, this is the final result. This is dinner for tonight, Memorial Day 2020. And I really hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're enjoying your family, friends, whoever you're hanging with on this Memorial Day. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes on my videos, and so forth. And I'll talk soon, man. You guys take care and be safe.